Imagine an invisible line drawn across the map, separating islands. This is not just any line, it marks a boundary where the animals and plants change dramatically. This is the Wallace Line, a fascinating natural phenomenon. It cuts through the islands of Indonesia, dividing Asia and Australia. The Wallace Line is a fundamental concept in biogeography. Biogeography is the study of where species live and why. The line helps us understand how life evolved differently in different parts of the world. It shows how geography and isolation can shape the development of species. This invisible border highlights the incredible diversity of life on Earth. It reminds us that the natural world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. The Wallace Line snakes its way through the heart of the Malay Archipelago, a region teeming with natural wonders and diverse ecosystems. This vast archipelago lies between mainland Southeast Asia and Australia, acting as a bridge between two continents. It includes islands like Borneo, Sumatra, Java, and Sulawesi, each with its own unique landscapes and habitats. These islands are renowned for their rich biodiversity, hosting an array of flora and fauna found nowhere else on Earth. The line begins between the islands of Borneo and Sulawesi, marking a significant biogeographical boundary. It continues north, separating the Philippines from the rest of Southeast Asia, creating distinct ecological zones. The line then runs south, dividing Bali from Lombok, illustrating the stark contrast in species distribution. It finally ends between the islands of Lombok and Sumbawa, completing its journey through this fascinating region. The Malay Archipelago is a melting pot of different species, a true testament to nature's diversity. Some islands are home to animals and plants found in Asia such as the majestic Asian elephant and the elusive tiger. Others have species more typical of Australia, including kangaroos and unique bird species. This difference is stark, even on islands located close together, showcasing the incredible variety of life. The Wallace Line neatly explains this division serving as a clear demarcation of biological diversity. It highlights a clear boundary between two distinct biological realms, emphasizing the unique evolutionary paths taken by species on either side. The Wallace Line is named after Alfred Russell Wallace. Wallace was a British naturalist who explored Southeast Asia in the 19th century. He was fascinated by the incredible diversity of life he encountered. Wallace spent eight years traveling through the Malay archipelago. He meticulously collected specimens and observed the natural world. He noticed something peculiar during his travels. The animals and plants on some islands were drastically different from those on others. Wallace realized that a clear boundary existed. This boundary separated species with Asian origins from those with Australian origins. He drew a line on a map, marking this division. This line would later become known as the Wallace Line. Wallace's observations and insights were groundbreaking. They helped shape our understanding of evolution and the distribution of species. Wallace's extensive studies in the Malay Archipelago had a profound and lasting impact on the development of the theory of evolution. His observations and meticulous research in this diverse region provided crucial insights into the natural world. He independently arrived at the groundbreaking concept of natural selection, a mechanism that explains how species adapt and evolve over time. This concept is central to Darwin's theory of evolution, which posits that all species of life have descended over time from common ancestors. Wallace observed that species evolve over time through a process of natural selection, where the environment plays a critical role in shaping the traits of organisms. Individuals with traits that make them better suited to their environment are more likely to survive and reproduce, passing on these advantageous traits to their offspring. This leads to the gradual change of species over generations, resulting in the incredible diversity of life we see today. Wallace, recognizing the significance of his findings, sent his detailed observations and conclusions to Charles Darwin. Darwin was struck by the remarkable similarities to his own work, which he had been developing for many years. They jointly presented their theories to the scientific community, revolutionizing the understanding of life on Earth and laying the foundation for modern evolutionary biology. The Wallace Line, a boundary that separates the distinct faunal regions of Asia and Australia, provided compelling evidence for evolution. It showed how geographical isolation could lead to the divergence of species as populations adapt to their unique environments. Species on either side of the line had evolved independently, resulting in distinct flora and fauna, 
highlighting the power of natural selection and adaptation in shaping the natural world. Section 5, A Line of Separation, Distinct Realms of Life The Wallace Line is a fascinating and significant boundary that divides the Malay archipelago into two distinct biogeographical realms. These realms are known as the Indo-Malayan realm to the west, and the Australasian realm to the east, each with its own unique characteristics. These realms represent different evolutionary histories, shaped by millions of years of geographical and ecological separation. The Indo-Malayan realm encompasses mainland Southeast Asia and islands like Borneo, Sumatra and Java, which are rich in biodiversity. This realm is home to iconic animals such as tigers, elephants and orangutans which thrive in its dense forests and varied habitats. These species are characteristic of Asian wildlife and play crucial roles in their ecosystems. On the other hand, the Australasian realm includes islands like Sulawesi, Lombok and New Guinea, as well as the vast continent of Australia itself. This realm is renowned for its unique marsupials, such as kangaroos and koalas, which are found nowhere else in the world. It also boasts a diverse array of bird species, including the spectacular birds of paradise, known for their vibrant plumage and elaborate courtship displays. The Wallace line marks a sharp transition between these two realms, highlighting the stark differences in their flora and fauna. While some species do overlap, the overall distinction between the realms is clear and profound, showcasing nature's diversity. The line underscores the powerful influence of geography on the evolution of life, shaping the unique characteristics of each realm over time. Section 6. The Western Side, Tigers and Elephants West of the Wallace Line, the islands are home to a diverse range of Asian species. These animals are similar to those found on the mainland. Tigers, elephants and rhinoceroses roam the forests of Sumatra and Borneo. Primates are also abundant in this region. Orangutans, gibbons and macaques swing through the trees. These animals represent the rich biodiversity of the Indo-Malayan realm. The western islands are also home to a variety of plant life. Lush rainforests cover much of the land. These forests are teeming with insects, reptiles and amphibians. The western side of the Wallace Line is a testament to the incredible diversity of life found in Asia. Section 7. The Eastern Side, Kangaroos and Birds of Paradise East of the Wallace Line a completely different set of animals appears. Marsupials such as kangaroos and wallabies dominate the landscape. These animals are a hallmark of Australian fauna. Birds of Paradise, known for their vibrant plumage, are another unique feature of this region. These birds are found only in New Guinea and surrounding islands. They represent the incredible biodiversity of the Australasian realm. The eastern islands also have a distinct flora. Eucalyptus trees native to Australia are common. These trees provide habitat for a variety of unique insects and animals. The eastern side of the Wallace Line offers a glimpse into the remarkable evolution of life in isolation. Section 8. Tectonic Shifts Shaping the Landscape the Wallace Line exists because of the Earth's tectonic plates. These plates are constantly moving and shifting. Millions of years ago, the landmasses that make up Southeast Asia and Australia were in different positions. The collision of these plates pushed up mountain ranges. It also created deep ocean trenches. These geological events shaped the islands of the Malay Archipelago. They also influenced the distribution of plants and animals. The islands west of the Wallace Line were once connected to mainland Asia. This allowed animals to migrate freely. The islands east of the line were never connected to Asia. They remained isolated, leading to the evolution of unique species. Section 9. Ancient Islands, A History of Separation The islands of the Malay Archipelago have a long and complex history. Some islands have been periodically connected to mainland Asia or Australia. Others have remained isolated for millions of years. This isolation allowed species to evolve independently. It led to the development of unique characteristics. The Wallace Line marks a boundary between these different evolutionary histories. The islands east of the line have a higher degree of endemism. Endemism means that a species is found only in a specific geographical location. This indicates a long period of isolation and unique evolutionary pressures. Section 10. The Wallace Line's Enduring Legacy the Wallace Line continues to fascinate scientists today. It is a reminder of the power of natural forces to shape the diversity of life. It also highlights the importance of biogeography and understanding the distribution of species. Scientists today use modern techniques to study the genetics of species. 
they can trace the evolutionary history of plants and animals across the Wallace line. This research provides further evidence for the role of isolation and natural selection in shaping biodiversity. The Wallace line is more than just a line on a map. It is a testament to the incredible complexity and wonder of the natural world. Section 11, a testament to nature's power. The Wallace line stands as a powerful reminder of nature's ability to shape life on Earth. It illustrates how geographical barriers, combined with evolutionary processes, can lead to the development of distinct species. This invisible line through the island serves as a testament to the incredible diversity and wonder of the natural world. As we continue to explore and understand our planet, the Wallace line remains a crucial concept. It reminds us of the interconnectedness of life and the importance of preserving the delicate balance of nature. 